Nelson Wilmarth Aldrich, November 6, 1841 to April 16, 1915, was a prominent American politician and a leader of the Republican Party in the United States Senate, where he served from 1881 to 1911. By the 1890s, he was one of the Big Four. Key Republicans who largely controlled the major decisions of the Senate, along with Orville H. Platt, William B. Allison and John Coit Spooner. Because of his impact on national politics and central position on the pivotal Senate Finance Committee, he was referred to by the press and public alike as the "...general manager of the nation," dominating tariff and monetary policy in the first decade of the 20th century. Born in Foster, Rhode Island, Aldrich served in the Union Army during the American Civil War. After the war, he became a partner in a large wholesale grocery firm and won election to the Rhode Island House of Representatives. He served a single term in the United States House of Representatives before winning election to the Senate. In the Senate, he helped to create an extensive system of tariffs that protected American factories and farms from foreign competition, and he was a co-sponsor of the Payne Aldrich Tariff Act. He also helped win Senate approval of the 1898 Treaty of Paris, which ended the Spanish-American War. Aldrich led the passage of the Aldrich Vreeland Act, which established the National Monetary Commission to study the causes of the Panic of 1907. He served as chair of that commission, which drew up the Aldrich Plan as a basis for a reform of the financial regulatory system. The Aldrich Plan strongly influenced the Federal Reserve Act of 1913, which established the Federal Reserve System. Aldrich also sponsored the 16th Amendment, which allowed for a direct federal income tax. Deeply committed to the efficiency model of the progressive era, he believed that his financial and trade policies would lead to greater efficiency. Reformers, however, denounced him as representative of the evils of big business. His daughter Abigail married into the Rockefeller family, and his descendants, including namesake Nelson A. Rockefeller, became powerful figures in American politics and banking. Topic: <laughs> Family background. Aldrich was born in Foster, Rhode Island, into a middle-class family descended from noted English immigrants John Winthrop, William Wickenden, and Roger Williams. His branch passed through generations of declining circumstances. His father was Anon E. Aldrich, a mill hand, and mother Abby Burgess. He attended public schools in East Killingly, Conn, and the East Greenwich Academy a boarding school in Rhode Island. Early career Aldrich's first job was clerking for the largest wholesale grocer in the state, where he worked his way up to become a partner in the firm. He served briefly in the Union Army during the American Civil War when he enlisted as a private in Company D of the 10th Rhode Island Infantry on May 26, 1862. Aldrich's company served for three months at Fort de Russie, which was part of the defenses of Washington, D.C. Aldrich was mustered out of service with the regiment on September 1, 1862. On October 9, 1866, he married Abigail Pierce Truman, Abby Chapman, a wealthy woman with impressive antecedents. They had a total of 11 children. <laughs> Early political career By 1877, Nelson had a major effect on state politics, even before his election to the United States Congress. He served as a member of the Providence City Council from 1869 to 1874 and as its president in 1872 and 1873. He served in the Rhode Island House of Representatives in 1875 and 1876 and served as Speaker of the House in 1876. U.S. Senate In 1878, the Republican bosses of Rhode Island endorsed him for the U.S. House of Representatives. He won and served one term, 1879 to 1881. In 1881, he was elected to the U.S. Senate by the Rhode Island legislature. He served in the Senate for 30 years from 1881 to 1911. He was the longest-serving United States Senator from Rhode Island before the 36-year tenure of Claiborne Pell in the late 20th century. By the 1890s, he was one of the Big Four 
Key Republicans who largely controlled the major decisions of the Senate, along with Orville H. Platt of Connecticut, William B. Allison of Iowa and John Coit Spooner of Wisconsin. Aldrich's main power base was his chairmanship of the Senate Finance Committee which oversaw bank regulation and monetary policy. In 1906, Aldrich sold his interest in the Rhode Island Street Railway system to the New York, New Haven and Hartford Railroad, whose president Charles Sanger Mellon was Wall Street banker JP Morgan's loyal ally. Topic: <laughs> National Finance The Panic of 1907 led to the passage of the Aldrich Vreeland Act in 1908, which established the National Monetary Commission, sponsored and headed by Aldrich. After issuing a series of 30 reports, this commission drew up the Aldrich Plan, forming the basis for the Federal Reserve System. As co-author of the Payne-Aldrich Tariff Act of 1909, Aldrich removed restrictive import duties on fine art, which enabled Americans to bring in very expensive European artworks that became the foundation of many leading museums. In 1909, Aldrich introduced a constitutional amendment to establish an income tax, although he had declared a similar measure, communistic, a decade earlier. Aldrich was quite candid about his scheme to block the House bill that had been passed, declaring to the Senate. I shall vote for the corporation tax as a means to defeat the income tax." The compromise passed unanimously in the Senate and by a vote of 318 to 14 in the House. The corporate excise tax would be levied, and the income tax constitutional amendment would be sent out to the states for ratification—which Taft and Aldrich thought was impossible. Aldrich also served as chairman of the Senate Republican Conference. During his Senate tenure he chaired the Committees on Finance, Transportation Routes to the Seaboard, Rules, and the Select Committee on Corporations organized in the District of Columbia. <laughs> Federal Reserve Act Following the Panic of 1907, Aldrich took control as chairman of the congressionally established National Monetary Commission, a proponent of progressive era themes of efficiency and scientific expertise. He led a team of experts to study the European national banks. After his trip, he came to believe that Britain, Germany, and France had much superior central banking systems. He worked with several key bankers and economists, including Paul Warburg, Abram Andrew and Henry Davison, to design a plan for an American central bank in 1911. In 1913 Woodrow Wilson signed into law the Federal Reserve Act patterned after Aldrich's vision, creating the modern Federal Reserve System. <laughs> <laughs> Foreign affairs Aldrich opposed entry into the Spanish-American War, but supported McKinley when it began. He played a central role in winning two-thirds Senate approval of the Treaty of Paris that ended the war, and included annexation of the Philippines. He helped frame the Platt Amendment of 1901, which limited the American role in Cuba. He supported the Panama Canal, but was critical of Roosevelt's general Caribbean policy. In 1906 Aldrich and other American financiers invested heavily in mines and rubber in the Belgian Congo. They supported Belgium's King Leopold II, who had imposed very harsh labor conditions in the colony. <laughs> <laughs> Family prominence His daughter Abigail Green Abby. Aldrich was a philanthropist who married philanthropist John Davison Rockefeller, Jr., and their second son Nelson Aldrich Rockefeller was a four-term governor of New York who campaigned for the Republican presidential nomination in 1960, 1964, and 1968, and was named Vice President of the United States under President Gerald Ford by the Congress in 1974. Aldrich's son Richard S. Aldrich served in Congress from 1923 to 1933, and his son Winthrop Williams Aldrich served as chairman of the Chase National Bank. American film director, writer and producer, Robert Aldrich was his grandson. <laughs> Interests Aldrich was very active in the Freemasons and was treasurer of the Grand Lodge of Rhode Island. Aldrich developed an elaborate country estate in the Warwick Neck section of Warwick, Rhode Island. The estate is now owned by the Roman Catholic Diocese of Rhode Island.
Topic: <laughs> Death and Burial. He died on April 16, 1915, in New York City, and was buried in Swan Point Cemetery in Providence, Rhode Island. Legacy The Nelson W. Aldrich House on 110 Benevolent Street in Providence serves as the headquarters for the Rhode Island Historical Society. The Aldrich Middle School in Warwick, Rhode Island is named in his honor. Aldrich Residence Hall at the University of Rhode Island in Kingston, RE is named in his honor. Aldrich Hall at Harvard Business School in Boston, Massachusetts was made possible through a gift from John D. Rockefeller and is named in honor of his father-in-law, Nelson W. Aldrich, http colon slash slash www.hbs.edu slash about slash campus dash and dash culture slash campus dash built dash on dash philanthropy slash pages slash Aldrich dash hall. ASPX Topic: Congressional Committee Assignments. Topic: Notes. Topic: Further reading. Aldrich, Jr., Nelson W., Old Money, The Mythology of America's Upper Class, Alfred A. Knopf, Inc. 1988, Justification by a Descendant Gould, Lewis. The Most Exclusive Club, A History of the Modern United States Senate 2009, pp. 17-31 Kurt, Bernice. Abby Aldrich Rockefeller, The Woman in the Family. New York, Random House, 1993. Phillips, David Graham. The Treason of the Senate, Aldrich, the Head of It All. Cosmopolitan, March 1906. Online, by a muckraker. Stephens, Lincoln. Rhode Island, a State for Sale. McClure's Magazine, February 1904, 337-353, by a muckraker. Stevenson, Nathaniel W. Nelson W. Aldrich, A Leader in American Politics, 1930. Scholarly Biography. Sternstein, Jerome L. Aldrich, Nelson Wilmarth. In John A. Garrity, ed. Encyclopedia of American Biography, 1974, pp. 25 to 27. Sternstein, Jerome L. Corruption in the Gilded Age Senate: Nelson W. Aldrich and the Sugar Trust. Capital Studies, 6, Spring 1978, pp. 13 to 37. Online. Sternstein, Jerome L. King Leopold II, Senator Nelson W. Aldrich, and the Strange Beginnings of American Economic Penetration of the Congo. African Historical Studies in JSTOR Wicker, Elmas. The Great Debate on Banking Reform, Nelson Aldrich and the Origins of the Fed, Ohio State University Press, 2005. Selections from the Nelson W. Aldrich papers at the Library of Congress, particularly pertaining to his work with the National Monetary Commission. Topic: External links. Works by or about Nelson W. Aldrich at Internet Archive. United States Congress. Nelson W. Aldrich, id a o o o o eight three. Biographical Directory of the United States Congress. Nelson W. Aldrich Papers from the Library of Congress available on Fraser, includes documents relating to the National Monetary Commission.